Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Today we're going to be talking about selfies. But first, a joke. What do you call a wolf who wants to become a YouTuber? A like and subscribe. Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about selfies and more or less stepping up your selfie game. Now, lots of people have come to me and ask, how do I take a better selfie? And generally, the answer is very simple. But today, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to break it down into four simple categories for you all to follow along with. Starting with angles. Moving on to composition, lighting, and then filters. Before we head to the first topic, you as a person are always going to be beautiful on the inside and outside, and your selfie skills do not define you. Any person can make a beautiful selfie, even if you have flaws or insignificant issues, you can always work around them. So let's get into it. Angles. The main issue with selfie angles is taking it too low. From a too low perspective, oftentimes you catch your chin, which is in a lot of the world, I would say that most people's chins are not that attractive. You want to try and capture your face with the selfie. Your face. Selfie. It's not your necky. It's your selfie, right? So what is your essence of yourself? It's up here, right? It's your face. It's framing it correctly at an angle. Right? And we'll talk about composition in a second, but angle, I'd say, make sure to take it from your left or your right. Never go dead on. Dead on can be an issue too. It points out the symmetries in your face, and if your face is not entirely symmetrical, it can create a huge issue. So let's look at these examples of bad angles I have here. A lot of what I do when I have bad selfie angles are I'm too low. Just like most people, I don't think the bottom of my chin is very attractive. My jawline is where I cut it. It's very important for me to get above my jawline. If I can, I look pretty good in these selfies. Normally, I want to face lower, have my chin down, and shoot up like this. But I never want the camera to get below this angle here, okay? When you're taking a selfie, always remember, if your camera is lower than this point, you're probably making a mistake. So you always want it to be parallel with your jawline and a little bit slightly above. So that's a pretty huge point, okay? I don't want to look over this step. It's pretty important for you all to know. Make sure you're shooting above your jawline. Your angles are always gonna look better from down. Nobody likes the bottom part of the chin. It's just not a thing you wanna. So looking at my good examples, my chin is down, or I'm to the side, but it's always from an angle, right? My face is always tilted left or right. It's not, I'm not centered like this, right? I'm, I'm creating action, I'm creating movement. It's interesting that way. If you're static, if you're facing forward and you're dead-eyed looking into the camera, it's not gonna be an interesting photo and it needs to be interesting to create likes. Composition is basically how you frame your photo and exactly where you stand in it, whether that's off to the side, whether it's half your face, whether it's your full face. It's not an angle, okay? The difference between an angle is this is where you're shooting, right? An angle is something like this. A composition is how you look inside the frame, okay? You're thinking about everything from what does the filter look like? How tall is it? How does it look within the frame? Frame yourself in a way that you're capturing your best point and that you're not missing anything in the frame. Um, my bad examples for this are group shots. Basically what I was trying to do in these group shots are capture a lot of people. And so the issue with that is depending on how you're framing it, you're either missing yourself or missing somebody or getting half your face, getting all of your face, getting too much of your face, getting a lot of different things wrong. So basically, 
in composition, a lot of what you want to do is just think about what you're doing, make sure everything is in the frame. If it's just you, do you want to cut off half your face? Do you want to cut off a third of it? Do you want to be out of the frame a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting? It really is a personal preference for composition. But in general, group photos, you want to make sure you get everyone and want to make sure you get your face as well. If you're not getting your face, it could be awkward or it could be troublesome in the future when you're looking at the photo and you just can't even see your own face, so you don't even know if it's you. <laughs> Do any of you guys face that issue where you look at a picture and you're like, is that even me? I don't know. I do often. Lighting is a pretty huge issue when it comes to selfies. Um, it varies a lot depending on where you're at. If you're at a club and it's dark, you're gonna have a lot of issues shooting a selfie without flash. If it's flash, then you're gonna have a bright light in your face. And bright lights can be, they can wash you out or they can create a lot of contrast with the background. It can be dark and you don't want that. The good thing about lighting is that it can be changed. It can be adapted through using a different filter. You don't always need your flash through finding another source of light. I always recommend taking selfies with natural light. As natural light from the sun, it warms the image, which creates a lot of color. And color is always good for a selfie. It makes it more interesting. Basically, in my bad images, I have, it's too dark. There's not enough contrast in my face to really make out what's happening. So it just looks like a black photo. And you don't want that. You want details in your photos. If nobody can tell what's happening, nobody can be interested, right? Nobody can be interested in what's happening if they can't see it. So always make sure you're getting proper lighting in your photos. It's pretty important. The filter kind of goes hand in hand with this as you can kind of adapt your lighting with your filter. So I'm gonna segue into the filters. A good filter can make or break your selfie as well. I used a couple of filters here. The bad adjust the lighting in a way that I do not enjoy. So the red is too dark. It makes me look too scary and I didn't really enjoy that very much. Um, the other, it brings out, it kind of washes the color out, if that makes sense. It lowers the saturation a lot and created an issue in the fact that I cannot see my nose. And I have a very prominent nose. So if I can't see my nose, who knows what the heck that filter was doing. The good examples of these filters are strong, interesting filters that create strong contrast in my face and that they create a very interesting way to look at and be a little bit different than something you're normally looking at. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Those are all the keys I have for all the ways that I think about selfies. How do you guys think about selfies? Do you guys do anything specific? I'm always looking to improve my selfie game personally, so if you have anything that you want to let me know in the comments that you think I could do better, please let me know. Hey guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my social medias in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time.